Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello. And we're going to do a review and a full playthrough of the vintage park and shop board game. Yes, uh, now the reason we're pointing out it's vintage, well you'll see. There's a reason why we're saying that. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a product of its time. So there's some phrases and pictures that uh, maybe aren't so politically correct these days. Yes, so please don't take offence. Uh, this is obviously from uh, the 50s, 1950s. So again, it's from back then. <laughs> so anyway. As per usual, the instructions which are being taped up but will be scanned will be down below. Yes. In case you happen to just randomly find... The game without the instructions because you kind of need to know how to play, don't you? Yes. All right, so let's have a look first. So should we start with the board or end yes. with the board? Yes, oh, we'll start with the board. Okay. I've already got it out. So there's your board. It's, it's, it's a fairly big one. Yeah, um, it's basically like a shopping district. Yeah, it, yeah. But downtown, I think it refers to on well, some of the Just maybe zoom in a bit cars. more so you can see. So you have all the classic stores, a supermarket, a uh, gas, or it's a petrol station. In fact, it's referred to as several different things in different cars. But yes. Uh, we have a produce store, we have park and shop locations, which is essentially a car park. Yeah. Where car, you're going to park your car. A parking park. complex of some sort. Uh, we have room in this corner for some parking tickets, which we'll get to soon. And we have pedestrian cards, and in the other corner up here, we have the motorist cards, obviously mm -hmm. for... For motorists. <laughs> yes. Um, and then you've got like all the little um, little shops, so yes. like a sweet shop, a dress shop, a tobacco, tobacconist, uh, antique shop... Uh, Linoleum Look. wallpaper shop. Yes, because of course they were very popular back in the 50s, I guess. Not quite what you call them these days, but never mind. Uh, so all of the blue ones are kind of a general shops, and there's more than one of each of them. Which is important because um, you need to plan a route. Yes. Which we'll explain shortly. And you want the shortest route yes. for the shops you have to um, visit. You also have red ones, which usually are bought into play when you pick up certain cards. And they tell you to go there. And they're more penalties than anything else. Pen so, for example, over here we have billiards, which means wait two turns. So lose, lose two, two turns. turns. And there's some cards in there that might say, you know, your, your power is being cut for late payment. You know, visit the power and light store to pay your bill. Yeah, so, so the red ones are generally not good places to end up. So, you know, hopefully we won't end up there too often. Uh, did we mention that there's little house spaces around the edge? They are our homes, or so at least one of them It's the be. starting and finishing space. Mm -hmm. Did we mention the actual whole idea of the game? We haven't yet, no. So the idea of Park and Shop is to drive from your home, park, and then do your shopping. Damn! Confusing, isn't it? No. <laughs> yeah, so you basically get uh, three to seven cards uh, or grocery items or items you need to purchase. And you need to make your way around to those shops, mm -hmm. purchase them, and then make your way back home. There's yes. a couple more things involved in that that can get in your way, but that's the, the basic gist of it. There's also two different ways to play the game. One is with money and one is without money. Now, we're going to play the without money version and we'll explain kind of why uh, maybe yeah. as we go through. It's, it's nice that they included both versions, though, and it plays fine in both ways. It yeah. just depends on how much time One of them just got. takes yeah. a bit longer and winning is slightly different. So the way we're playing, the first first person back to their home with uh, all their shopping completed is the winner. Yes. Whereas the other way it comes down to a points game. Yes, so even mm. if you don't manage to complete all of your shopping or you run out of money, um, you can still win the game depending on other actions within the game. Yes. Alright, so um, this is the money we won't personally be using because we're playing the other way. Uh, but there's one pound notes, five pound notes, ten pound notes, and twenty pound notes. Now, we'd like notes. to mention um, these are in pounds, but I'm pretty sure this original game originated in the USA, but this particular version was made by John Sands in Australia, yes. and I believe this um, predated our current Australian dollars, hence Yeah, we don't pounds. use pounds in Australia no. anymore, so... So, it's an interesting little tidbit, but there you go. Alright, so let's bring over the box, because there's actually some really interesting graphics inside. It's beautiful, um, isn't it? We have some images there with a brief description of the game. We also have a little bit of paper that says who it was assembled by. So if you have like, the need to correspond with them, you can yes, tell them uh, who John made Sands, it. John Sands, can you please tell me who operator number five, <laughs> 354561 was? I need to complain In the 50s. I need to complain about my game. Uh, we also have some more shopping sort of related images there. Ah uh, yes, the man holding the handbag waiting for presumably his wife to shop. So I guess nothing's changed. <laughs> uh, Alright, we have two dice. 
and they are the just, wooden sort. Yes. And what I actually like is we have three different tokens here. So um, I'll get to show you like the one set of them. Mm -hmm. So it's you have color coded. So you have like a home marker. Which so marks which um, of the houses on the outside is you, yours. You've chosen, um, then you've got your motorist or car piece, yes. and then you've got your pedestrian piece. Yes, and, and you move differently whether you are in your vehicle or whether you are a pedestrian. Yes. So, and I like the, they're, they're only sort of cheap sort of plastic, but they're actually really nicely molded. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice little touch. Um, the little pedestrian pieces have quite a bit of detail as well. I picked the wrong one to show the detail. Maybe one, didn't a green I, the one, white. yeah. <laughs> so there's like a little, he's like wearing a little suit jacket. I think there's like a little tie there. His, oh, his face is there as well. I've just lost him. I'm going to try the blue it. one. Um, there's a lot of detail on his face and these are actually the same um, or very similar to the farmer pieces that we have in our version of Squatter that we have. Uh, and they're around the same sort of year. I think Squatter's slightly newer. And made, I think, by both by the same uh, By John maybe? Sands, I think, originally yeah. had a version, yeah. Because the money is the same as uh, the edition of Squatter we have as well. Uh, now, I right, think... So the cards oh, are under here somewhere. Yeah, there they right. are. All right, so we'll pop the money back in the box and we'll get the dice out. Now, what color are you going to put? Uh, what's going to show up easier? I'm going to be blue. You're going to be blue and I'll be black. Yep, they'll show up blue, nicely on camera. Car. All right, so then we have our four different types of cards. So we might split those up so we can show you the different ones. All right, so here are our um, shopping items. Yes. So basically, well, they're more a specific shop we have to. You go need to go to and purchase something. They don't specify, but it's like you need to go to your dry cleaners. You need to go to the jeweler, mm -hmm. the appliance store. Yeah, any of that. There's 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 quite a few there. Yep. And again, there are multiple locations for each of those. You want to plan your shortest route after you know where you have to go. Yes. Um, and, and obviously that makes the game quicker for you to get back home. Speaking of quicker, um, the game actually says you can pick between three and seven items you need to shop for, depending if you want a shorter game or a longer game. We're just going to play with the three items each because... Because it can still take a while if you have bad luck like Nathan has had previously oh playing this. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll right. randomly doll those out after. All right, then we so have the, next the set. motorist car, a uh, motorist car, motorist cards. Motorist cards, Nathan. Yes. <laughs> um, so, um, so these are when you land on a grey space on the board, which doesn't want to focus on. So if you're a motorist in a car and you land on a grey space, you pick up a motorist card. If you're yep. a pedestrian, you land on a grey space, you pick up a pedestrian card. Yep. So these are the motorist ones. Um, most of them are kind of fairly simple. Lose a turn. Run out, run out of fuel. There's actually one one card in here. That's, uh, let me see if I can find it, a, a, a water courteous motorist badge. So that's a useful one. Some are good, some are bad. Traffic thinned out, you went up a one way street, lose a turn. Are you blind? Drive with an out of date inspection <gasps> sticker. So that actually, on your way home, sends you somewhere else. Which was a detour and takes a long time now. Now this one's a good, this one. This one's, this, this <laughs> is one of those product of its time things. There's a woman driver in front of you, lose one turn. So yeah, um, yeah, not, not so politically correct these days to be like, woman drivers you know um, so most of the car ones aren't as severe as the pedestrians no there's not as many of them either because you do spend more time as a pedestrian than you do yes. as a motorist now we have right, the, we still have two more the green the, so the green and blue ones are actually very similar color in fact you've got yeah, yeah one of those so the green ones are the pedestrian cards so if you are playing with as your pedestrian piece you land on one of the gray spaces you pick up one of these and most of the ones that we have found send you extra places yeah so for instance you get three regular arms this one says you need to go stop at the cancel chambers and pay your rates you must stop at the power and light office and pay uh, last month's bill go to the telephone depot and report your phone yeah. out of order so and, you know, this one says you need to go somewhere specific. Uh, there's like a go to jail one because you had a mind. What is oh, it? Oh yes, we can end up in jail well, in this says, game. <laughs> uh, you, you create a disturbance in yes, Commons. I did that Commons. last time. <laughs> yeah, so my, but you're hungry. Stop at a cafe for lunch. So we won't show too many of those because I'm sure a lot of them will come into play as we go. Uh, and our last set of cards are parking tickets. Now that's not because we've parked in you know, no, a no, legal no, no, no. place or anything so like they, that. So these, after you do your shopping, um, every player always has one of these after they first park. Yes, and so you, pick, you pick it up when you park. Yeah, and it's something you need to do on the way home. For instance, this one says, you must stop and order your new car today or be late. So you need to drive to the auto dealer before going home. So after you do all your shopping, you take your pedestrian back to your car, hop in, and then you go and do whatever your parking ticket says. Have your battery in your car, check on the way home, drive to petrol station. So it's a detour. So um, yes, you might have got really lucky with the um, shop 
mm -hmm. uh, items you've picked up, but if you get a bad parking ticket, it sends you to... Um, Somewhere a long way away. It can be, yeah, time yeah. consuming. We should get started though, because it, it, I mean, we've taken a long time to explain it, but... But it's also a game that I think it's... <laughs> Since it's vintage and it's actually quite rare these days, it's, I think it's just interesting. I, I like it. All right, so we're going to roll to see who gets to pick their home first because that can factor in. Well, first we need to get our cards, so then we can pick our home. All right, well, we can roll anyway. So I have four. All right, so I get to pick my home. Yep, yeah, so Nathan will be picking his home. So we're going to take our three. One, one, two, two. <laughs> okay, three, Nathan's dealing three. them out. Okay, so then we're going to have a look. So for me, I need to visit the gift shop, Ooh, the chain store, of course, and shoe repairs. So I'm going to start looking on the board where those locations are to work out what's going to be quickest for me. I need to go to a slightly racist cartoon looking of a laundry. Yes, like we said, product of its time. Uh, uh, department store and the photographer. Okay. So we're going to have a look. So I need to locate the shoe repairs. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky because... The colours don't always correspond. So most of them are the blue, but some of them can actually be different colours. Usually on. these ones are blue, I believe. Um, so I need laundry. Chain store. If this takes us a long time to find them, we'll speed so this part department up. department store for me. Uh, there's a, there's a chain here. store here for you. There's so, laundry there. Laundry... Uh, department, and I need the photographer. Photographer, where are you, photographer? There's a photographer over there. A photographer I'm helping you, I can't store. find my own. <laughs> uh, and laundry. Alright, so I've got a gift shop here, a chain store here, shoe repairs. Shoe repairs. <laughs> I see shoes. Do we think that's the shoe repairs, perhaps? Uh... I imagine. So, like I said, some of the cards, they say, like, you know, go to the petrol station, get your car oh, repaired. Know. Shoe repairs. Oh, well, there you go. All right. So, shoe repairs, chain store, gift shop. And I've got a uh, department store, photographer, and laundry. So, I've so taken be over here. right up the top here. Mm-hmm. All right. So, for me, I get so to then pick second. Uh, I'm going to go with the house over there that I actually kind of can't reach. So, excuse my... Oh, for a go. minute, right. <laughs> um, because that's the closest one to where are we heading. It's no good coming back to like down here. Now, because... would you like to mention uh, how the movement is controlled depending if you're driving or if you're on foot? Sure. So we're going to start with our car pieces at home. Now, this is how the instructions describe it. Because we have one engine in a car, we only use one <gasps> die to move. But pedestrians have two legs, so you use two die. Whoa! Of course. Somehow that makes no sense, but never mind. So you move faster as a pedestrian. So first we need to go to the closest park and shop and, and park. So Nathan, you're up first. Yes, whoever wins the um the pick home first also gets to roll go first. Go first, yes. All right, we're only 30 minutes in and off we go. <laughs> Finally. One, two, three, four. Okay, so um, these little black arrows are the entrance into those locations. Now, we're not quite sure, it doesn't mention Nathan's landed where an entrance is to a penalty one. We're going to assume that you don't go in there they're, because they're it does not specify. And there are actually cards that tell you to go to those specific locations. Like Laura got to go to billiards and play billiards with your friend. Yes. All right. One. I can move you if you want to let That's me know. Fine. All right. Three. One, two, three. Oh, well, motorist. Nathan's landed on you got a grey space, which is why he's picking up a card. You got caught in a speed trap. Lose one turn. Okay. I'm just going to put this car pile over here for now. All right, so three, three, one, two, three, and then I get another turn because you're you losing one. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can only enter through the little black arrow entrances And as you well. don't need exact count. No, you do need to get exact count to win the game at one, the end, two, landing on your three. home though. Yes, as Laura found out the other day we played. That can be very frustrating. <laughs> so you got one. Oh, I'm still not in there. So you do have to get enough that is counted as a space. Yes. Yeah. Five. One, two, three. I'm going to park. And then I've parked. I shall get my parking ticket. And on my way home, I shall need to order your new car. Shall we shuffle these? I'm pretty sure I actually picked that one. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't want a new car. You don't. All right. All right. So yours is going to be... <laughs> one we've already picked. Have your battery in your car checked on the way home. Drive to the petrol station, aka gas station. Okay. So Nathan's now pedestrian. 
I, however, am only just making it to the car park. My parking ticket says, better load up on petrol for your weekend trip, drive to petrol station. So that's what I do on my way home. Oh gee, that's going to be gonna real tough for you. Here, by the way. Oh Lord, how are you going to cope? Oh yeah, oh it's on my way home, that is excellent. Alright, so <laughs> I've got two die now. And I do as well, sorry, we're just retrieving the other one. Alright, so I need to go to department store photographer. I'm going to go to the department, uh, the photographer because it's literally just there. So I'm just going to go out there and there. And you're in, so again, it does not have to be by So all you account. do is you just flip over the, the yellow card and then that's done. Now, if you were playing with money, you actually need to roll uh, one of the die to work out how much money that you need to pay yes. for the item. So because you get a certain amount of money at the start of the game. Um, you can then actually go bankrupt, which does not necessarily mean you lose the game, but it means you can't finish all of your tasks. Which means you lose points at the end of the game when the points are tallied. Yes. Um, so that, that's how that is then played. If you complete all of them and make it home first in that money version, you get more points. Correct. So, all right. uh, that's why we've played this way. This is slightly simpler. Come on, two-legged pedestrian. All right. Yes, I'm a pedestrian now. So I'm headed first to the, uh, did I say Shira Pair? Shira Pair yes. looks like the closest. And where was the chain store? Here. Okay. Just getting my bearings. I'm, I'm all right. I'll move myself. One, two, three, four, yes. five, six. All yes. Right. So I'm on a grey intersection space, I get a pedestrian card. Who? My, but you're hungry. Stop at a cafe for lunch. Now these can be put in any order, so... At least we believe that's yes. the case. The, the instructions are fairly broad in, in yeah. some areas. Yeah, so maybe this. just a quick discussion at the start with your fellow teammates to determine... Well, it. Opponents, <laughs> not teammates. Hey, Alright, so I can right, go... So I now, sorry, I need to find a cafe. So there's one just here. So um, are we playing, we can go in any order? Yes. Yeah, alright. Alright, so I need a department store, probably the closest next. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you roll doubles, you get an old turn. If you roll three doubles, you go to jail, because of course. Of course, uh, jail is over there in the back corner and you actually lose two turns, or it says wait two and turns. And in, in the money game, you have to pay five pounds to get out. Not to get out, but, but as a, a, penalty a penalty for going yes. to jail, yes. So that, obviously the money will not factor into this game. I wonder where they got Now, where am I going again? Shoe repairs. Oh, ah. sorry. Were you there? Yes. One, two, three, also, I don't need all of my move, but I've made it into my shoe repairs. There we go. But I am hungry, so I should probably have gone to the one, cafe two, first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have gone to the department store to get my miscellaneous department store item. Okay. Now I just need to go to the laundry to get my laundry done. So I'm now headed to that cafe because of my pedestrian card, which I can make it to in, in this one roll. Beautiful. So, one, two, three. So now I can take the pedestrian card that told me to go to the cafe and it gets discarded. Beautiful. All right, so I need to head up to the laundry. And this is any around here. It's quicker. I don't think so. All right. Um, there probably is another laundry One, two, somewhere. Three, four, five, six. But my home is just there as well as the gas. I need oh, to get the, other, the other laundry is actually all the way over here. Yeah. All right. It's your turn. Okay. So now that I've been there, I'm headed straight across the road. I, I oh, suppose easy. it is to the gift shop. So I've got eight, so one, two. Easily into the gift shop. Flip it over. Turn that over. I just need the chain store next. One, two, three, four. It's a double, so I get another roll. Now if you land on the middle space, you actually get an extra turn. It might be a little bit hard to read that. Yeah, the board's a little bit worn here, but that happens when you get like a 60 plus year old game, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, it does. All right, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eight. Chain store's just here around the corner. I've got it. I'm fine to move my own piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Not quite there yet. All right, a big um, roll. We should say um, this game, you can get really lucky. Um, like I have all three of my locations. We're in the same sort of block there. Um, you could obviously get some that are slightly further apart like Nathan has, which Yo, can factor I, I played the other night and I had to go like an extra five stores or something. Nathan kept landing on grey spaces and getting pedestrian yeah, cars, you, that's why. Really, and there's a couple in there that says you can you can skip one or something or turn one over, but yeah, most of them aren't great. No. Six. So, one, two, only three. I'm at the chain store. So, now that all three of my yellow cards are turned over, I am going to head back to my car and then do the task on my... And I'm doing the same thing. I need to go back to my car and fill up, get my battery checked. You're filling up on fuel. Yes. For my weekend trip, One, two, my car three, says. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And theoretically, it doesn't 
uh, say you can't, but you could go to your car and drive around more to get to other places, but there's but no... you move quicker as a pedestrian, yeah, so, so... I don't know why you'd want to go back and keep driving around. No. Oh, whoops. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm heading back to my car. Um, I should say the spaces are fairly small, which isn't too bad for the pedestrian pieces. But the cars have to go sort of sideways. Sideways, yeah. All right, I'm in my vehicle. Okay, so Nathan's removed his pedestrian now yes. because he's back to his car. Okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I want to avoid grey spaces. <laughs> so I need to go to the gas station. Do you? Yes. Uh, oh, the petrol station. Yeah. So we're actually both going to the same place, one, the, two, the gas three, four, space. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There and we you've go. got one right near your house. I do. And I just need to get... Mm. Oh, I roll with two dice. <gasps> How about you get... You're only allowed to use one. Uh, do you want to roll again? Yeah, so you go back. Sorry about that. Yeah, so Nathan's back in his car. He's only got one engine, so he only has one die. Uh, One... Either way, two, you're landing three. on a grey space. Yeah. So you get a motorist card, though, which aren't quite as bad as the pedestrian ones. Uh, minor traffic violation. Lose one turn. Okay. So you get two rolls of the old dice. Except I'm still using two, because I'm a pedestrian still. Confused yet? <laughs> Maybe. One, two, three, four. Now. And then you're losing a turn. Six. One, two. Oh, didn't need it all. All right, so I'm off. I'm now back in my vehicle. One dice, one dice, yes. one dice. Yes, <laughs> only the one. One, two. All right, so I just need to go here now uh, to load up on petrol according to my parking ticket. Okay. You know what one, makes... One, two, three, four. I wonder if, if that car was changed to say petrol instead of gas, because in Australia, at least now, we refer to it as petrol. We don't refer to it as gassing up the car. I don't know. So I've turned that over. Now all I need to do is go to my home over there, which is where my marker is. By exact count. By exact count. One, That's two, the hard three, part. Four, five. You keep missing your driveway. Um, so far, this has been a relatively quick and smooth yes. game. Um, the last time we played, Nathan did land on a lot of grey spaces and ended up with a lot of pedestrian a cars to follow. A lot of them. Five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Two. I'm alright, I can move myself. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One. Oh. <gasps> Could use the bigger number than that. <laughs> One, two. I have checked my battery. The battery is good. Okay, so you can turn over your parking womp, 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 womp. ticket now. So now you're headed home as well. And I'm right there, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's just move it up a little bit so we right, can now see. Now it's going to depend on the exact count to go home. One. I'm slowly edging closer to Six. home. One, two, three, four, four. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dangerous card. The green light is stuck. Keep going for one more turn, yeah. aka extra turn. Yes. So these are meant to go just back on the bottom of the pile, by the way, as well. Four. One, two, three. Oh no, no, my grey one. <laughs> You stopped at a no parking zone, lose one turn. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> okay, so what do I need? One, two, three. I need a four. Oh! Yay! <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. I can't believe I got that on the first go. Oh, my goodness. Last time we played, it was probably, I don't know, backwards and forwards about ten times past my home. <laughs> backwards and forwards, either way. Um, yeah, that was actually a fairly smooth yeah, I... game of this. It can go a lot longer. I imagine it would take even longer with more players as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, I like it. Aside from the politically incorrect Which, cards. There, there isn't <laughs> too many of them in a the game. No. Aside from that, I think it's a really nice little game. Uh, after you know what you're doing to play, it's, it's fairly simple to just pick up and play again. You know, there's not a lot of complicated rules to it. Speaking even, of, even the money version isn't too bad. Speaking of picking up, I think it was released in 1955, and I think there was maybe a re-release in the early 70s. But apart from that, I think it's been out of print since then. So it's actually quite um, expensive and difficult to find. But at least it's one of those games where it is worth playing if you find it. There are yes. some games that are rare, but they're not very good or fun but to play. But this is this is a good one. This one's quite nice. This is easily something they could re-release now, just with you know some updated oh, yeah. lingo rather than our linoleum and wallpaper shop. You well, know, I always go to my linoleum wallpaper <laughs> shop. That's why I go window shopping. Is that right? Yes. Okay, fair enough. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below what the oldest game is that you still enjoy playing.
I think yours mm. before the uh, yours is probably Dark Shadows from the sh TV show. Dark Shadows, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's my favourite board game, so yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.